What's up, folks? Welcome to the best family show ever. This is Ella and Ella's daddy. Today my we're hands. back with some more pink my foam, hands. specifically my body. I haven't actually went in this app before and used it, so I might be a little bit confused. But together, we'll make it through it. So Ella, where do you want to go first? Wait, let's look at the menu first. There's a pair of lungs with a pump. Look. And there is a heart On with some top. bulbs. <laughs> I don't see that. Anymore. And there is a whoa. A steam wheel. It's a wheel with and a, a hand brain. and a mouth. A, and a brain, brain instead of stand, a and skull, height, and brushing teeth, and body, and jumps. <laughs> okay, so where do you want to start first? Get in my butt! Where do you want to start first? No! What is this? This is a running game. Okay, so it's a running game. So what I'm seeing here is that. Oh, calm down, calm down, Ella. Okay, now stop, 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 stop. Don't pass it! What do you think this is trying to tell you, Ella? Hmm? Trying to tell me the right one. Nope. So let's play this one more time, okay? What happens when I eat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so fast. Let's go back. Is there a way to go back? What happens when she runs faster? What happens to the heart? The heart goes fast. Yeah. Because the faster you run, the harder your heart has to beat. Do you know why your heart has to beat faster? Yeah. Why? Because it's good for you. Yes, it is good for you. Your heart, which is right here, beats, okay? What that does is, it circulates the blood in your whole body. Daddy, I already know what's healthy stuff in it. Yes. So you have blood in your body, and your heart pumps it around your body, right? I already know. You know why you need to do that? <laughs> you know why you need to do that? Because your blood has to carry oxygen from your lungs all over to your body. Because like the whole thing you just like fills up your head? Yes, it fills up your head. And your body actually tries a lot in your head, you know why? Because your head has a brain. And your body tries to keep the brain alive, otherwise you would just not be able to function. And not think about nothing? Yeah, and think about nothing. And you don't want to think about nothing, right? That's what it means in this game when she runs faster and the heart beats faster. Let's move on to the next one, Ella, and see what it's trying to explain to us. What happens when I eat? Oh, it's showing what happens when you eat. Yeah, so when you eat bread, the first thing that happens is what? You put it in your mouth and then what? And then it goes no, push, don't push, to your don't. surfaces. I'm not. I'm just showing you okay. it. Does do? Yeah, I don't it goes even in your mouth. I don't even in... know what all of these okay, okay. I'm explaining to you. It goes in your mouth, and then you chew it. What that does is, it's called the physical breakdown of the food. Because you can't eat something, your, your body can't digest something that's big. So you have to chew it up, and physically break it down. Yeah, and then it does you. Yes, and then let's see where it goes next. No, 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 Okay, it goes in down your throat. In es esophagus, yeah. Goes in your stomach. Mm -hmm. And then it breaks the food down. Yep. In my stomach, mash up the food. And then goes in your stomach, and your stomach has a bunch of acids which help you digest the food. Your stomach actually has a lot of different kind of water stuff in there. And it helps the food digest. In and my it goes intestines. Here. Mm -hmm. It goes into your intestines to absorb nutrients. And then Push you just like poop it out. <laughs> I do. And it then it goes out. It does not look like poop. It Over? doesn't? Yeah. Oh, well, boom. It goes like right poop. out afterwards. It does Yay. It doesn't look like poop. <laughs> well, do you, would you rather it have real poop? We could make it have real poop. And our bo what it's saying is that our body has mechanisms with inside it that fight germs that come to our body. And it's yeah. showing this guy when as a boxer beating yeah. up all the germs. Yeah, and the, these white things, white tears, the joints, and this way punch them and fight them. And don't are not that good fighting. Mm-hmm. 
Let's click on the next one. That's it? That's it? Okay, now it's showing us band-aids. Alright. Now what- Ella? When do you need band-aids? When you get hurt. When you get hurt, yep. Because it covers the wound. Okay, so when you get hurt, Ella, what happens? Yeah, no, when you get hurt, you feel pain. Like, for example, if you get a cut here, you feel pain. You know why? Because your hand has a sensor, which goes and connects to your brain, and that's called a nerve. So, when this nerve gets hit, it signals to your brain, Ow, my arm is hurting. And your brain goes, Ow, it hurts. That's how you feel pain. And earlier, remember I showed you there was a heart that pumped blood through your whole body? Guess what's coming out of that cut? Blood. Blood, yes. That is what's being pumped through your body. Right now, you don't have any cuts, so <laughs> nothing's bleeding. It's important to not get cut, right? Because otherwise you'll bleed and it'll hurt. So, one thing you could do to help your healing and prevent <laughs> infection is to put a band-aid on. I just said that. Yeah. I just said that already. It's almost like fake skin for a little bit until you heal. Without a band-aid, if an open wound gets touched, it hurts a lot. All right, okay, so let's move on it. to this guy. What's he doing? He's pumping. Oh, lungs. you see that? What's happening to his lungs? It's breathing. Ew. It's going in and out, and it's getting, it's contracting. The air. Yes. <laughs> it's going in and out like a balloon, right? Because your lungs are like two big balloons. When you're breathing like this, you're filling your lungs up. You have two big balloons in your lungs. I mean, I you breathe, a lot of me. Yeah, and you breathe out. It's like taking a balloon and flattening it. I just been keeping my wind inside me. <laughs> yep. So you understand how lungs work, right? I already know. You sure? Okay. So Wait. what? What? Oh! Whoa. What's that? An ear. 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 What's? What are ears made of? Cartilage. Remember? I Daddy. Cartilage. I don't know what the child. Okay, so what's this? A pie? And Daddy, I don't even know what to talk. Oh, it's saying that ears hear sound, not smell pies. That's your <laughs> nose. It's a mouth with a tongue sticking out. Your tongue Eats. has a lot of taste Eats. buds. Yeah, Eats. exactly. So, Ella, Eats. why does your tongue taste things? Pieces. Pieces as you taste. And when there's stuff inside thing, you you taste it because your tongue. Yeah, it's and <laughs> your tongue has something called taste buds. Different parts of your tongue actually are responsible for different things like sour and sweet and bitter. And Daddy, why does your tongue have dots? Those are your taste buds. Yeah, so that's what makes you taste things. And another thing that's connected to taste is, you know what? Smell your nose. Did you know that if you plug your nose like this, a drink, you can't taste it? When I, I was, doesn't try that. No, I'm serious, it works. When I was young, whenever I needed to drink medicine, which didn't taste too good usually, one trick I did to myself was plug my nose, drink it, swallow it, take water, and, drink, and just wash it down. Because when you plug your nose, you can't taste anything. It's all in your mind at that point. I would try to do that. Hmm? Let's try to do that. Yeah, you should try sometime. <laughs> it works. Okay, Wait. let's go next. It's the hand. What's the hand this time? Skin. Skin. Oh, it's touch and feel. I know. So it's talking a feather. See? I touch, touch, touch. Yep. <laughs> Remember how I talked about nerves earlier? That when you get cut, it tells your brain that let's you got cut. The nerve, it can also tell your brain it's just being touched by something. It, it can tell your brain if it's a big hit, a small hit, or a hard, very big cut. Understand? The last time hmm? you got bad, just like touched my hand all the way here. Accident? And bad just like stretched my hand, but it was not bleeding. Mm -hmm. It was just like this, crooked. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes accidents happen. That was just like doing this. Yeah, like okay. Accidents skin. happen, but you get it. Your body has a bunch of nerves, even your legs, your arms, your shoulders, and 
when it's hit, it tells your brain something happened like this. Look. Ah! See? You have a nerve there that told your brain I tickled you. <laughs> Stop. Okay. All right. So what's this one? Brain. Brain. I'm not <laughs> exactly sure what they mean here by a maze, a star, you gotta and a do, bulb. You oh, gotta I get it. Dia. I get it now. No, no. <laughs> no, I get it now. You know when you plug in your phone or you plug in your iPad, you plug in your flashlight to get electricity? Yeah. That same electricity is actually in your brain. Yeah, but but when your brain knows it's your phone is slow, you you try to. Yes, because you know. Yes, because your brain tells you that hey, I need to charge my phone, otherwise it'll not work. That means your brain is working. And what makes your brain? I just like check. The iPad is really not. It's really low. Yeah. That's why it's saying. Yeah. So when you check your iPad and it's really low, what what it's what's happening in your brain is a bunch of different nerves are flying around. It's almost like crazy small little pieces of electricity flying around your head. And the more of these ideas fly around, the more quicker you can think and get to your light bulb, which is your idea. So for example, if you have to think, hey, I need to charge my iPhone. You have a thing where it goes around and your brain goes, oh yes, then let's go to the wall and plug it in. Boom. Yes, it helps you decide. Now, next one. Let's end this ping pong app with some fun eating exercises. So Ella, which one in here has the most sugar? What's sugar though? Don't push it yet. Which one of these have the most sugar? And tell me why. Tell me why. Cupcakes. Why do you think it has the most sugar? Because cupcakes have more sugar. Yep, because on top of the cupcake, there's icing and sprinkles. Those two combined are a lot of sugar. Okay? And the middle cupcake is made of, like, a muffin-type material. And that is also sugar, technically, because there's usually pretty sweet. And that eat an awesome okay? bread so let's is put, okay to eat. Yes. You identified... M muffins as the most sugary, so let that sugar go into the mouth. Boom! Yum, yum, yum. I love cupcakes, by the way. I love it. You know me. So, you number two. Like number two. Let's put something with the most wheat in there. No, 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 no that's not the most wheat. Bread is the most wheat. That was a, a, a bell pepper. It's that's healthy, all fiber. Healthy. Is that healthy? Yeah, bell peppers are very healthy, and a bell pepper has a lot of fiber, yeah. tons of fiber. But you don't like bell peppers, right? Yeah, I hate them. I love them. You should try them with daddy once in a while. No. They're not hot, okay? Okay, so I next. Really like that is, what is that, a donut or a bread? What is that? It's a bread. It's a bread, okay. <laughs> so bread is made of wheat, right? It's baked, bread is baked with yeast, which makes it rise to create that <laughs> shape, okay? Remember how we made bread? Ah. Alright Ella, look. Take that bread and put it in the mouth. Okay, so next is broccoli. It's broccoli green. Selfie. It's very green. Healthy too. Mm -hmm. A lot of cellulose. A lot of fiber in that. Broccoli and is actually like quite... Fike. They like these broccoli just like fight germs mm -hmm. too. And like say the white things too. Mm -hmm. and this, this is a healthy one, so put that in. And then there's tomatoes. Tomatoes are pretty interesting. It comes from a plant that has... And, uh, and tomatoes are also healthy. Yeah, it comes from a tomato plant and they grow on vines and uh, it requires a lot of sun for nice big tomatoes. <laughs> and that's what ketchup is made from. Ketchup has tomatoes, spaghetti sauce that's has tomatoes. That's why I do not like tomatoes. You love it. No, I do not like tomatoes. Uh oh what's that? Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video with Ella and Ella's daddy of Ping Pong's My Body. Until next time, have family fun learning and keep upgrading your brain. Peace out.